I'm here at the Do Re Mi Music Academy in Trousdale County. It's here where a Macon County native wants to make sure that people from all over our area don't forget the art of singing shape note music. All right, so here's what I'm gonna say. When it says, let us all be ready, then you need to get ready. Because you don't get to stop, you do not get to take a break. Why did you decide that you wanted to start this academy 12 years ago? Well, the. The invitation was made by Cumberland University. I attended school there back in the archaic days and uh, uh, still had friends on the staff over there and they invited us to come back. Uh, we had been there with a previous music school, the Cumberland Valley School of Gospel Music, and uh, uh, so they, they asked us to come back. And so we surveyed the different counties to see if there was an interest up here in Upper Middle Tennessee for that, and there was, and we uh, started 12 years ago at Cumberland University. and. Uh, we spent the first eight years there and it looked like it was going to be a success and we were renting and uh, a, a large group of uh, folks felt like instead of renting and paying out that money we'd just buy our own place if we could find one to afford it and that's why we're here in Trousdale County. This uh, class, how's it going so far? It's a great session. Um, we have a little over a hundred, well, let's see, I think we've got 110 students right now, and that's about our average. We average about 120. Uh, we have students from Alaska to Florida and throughout Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky, and uh, it's just a great blessing uh, to see the response in keeping this old time shape note music alive. Are you amazed at how much it has grown through the years and how you've been able to sustain classes year after year? I am. I really am. And I, I just give God the, the credit. This is His music. We're, we're singing God's music. And in doing so, um, we have the faith that He's going to sustain it and take care of us. What do you like about shape note music, music so well? I mean, what, what is so wonderful about that as far as you're concerned? Oh, the wonderful harmonies of the voices. You take the four voice parts, <clears throat> the alto and uh, uh, tenor, soprano and bass, and you put all those together and you gain that harmony out of that. And, and the shape note is just a, uh, a musical way of reading it. It just provides the shape for the tonality of the note. And uh, this is a music that we all grew up here in Middle Tennessee and Macon County in this area. Uh, our churches used to have one of these singing schools, not this, not this large, in every church just about in Macon County when I was a child. My mom and dad taught it and others did and then Brother Danny Patterson continued it and on and on and on. And, and all we're trying to do right now is to keep this music alive. It's so precious to us, and uh, it's just been such a great blessing through the years. What is the goal as far as the students are concerned? Uh, are you trying to make them better singers, give them an appreciation of the history of the music? You tell me. Well, you hit on uh, the, the two major far, uh, parts of it, I guess, was the uh, facets of uh, improvement individually, and then secondarily to go back to their churches and improve the church music. Uh, we teach individual sessions here for folks. We have Jonathan Wilburn here this year. And uh, Jonathan uh, um, is a professional singer that took his talent and applied it in such a way that he became voted for about 12 straight years as the best lead singer in Southern gospel music. So he's here teaching with us and uh, that's an example of what can happen with folks and just take their talents and use it for God. What's the best part about this for you 12 years later? Blessings. Just seeing these kids um, uh, want to be a part of it, have fun doing it, uh, enjoying it, uh, seeing God's blessing and salvation of souls. Uh, the spiritual uplift is the thing that keeps me going, I'll be honest with you. What have you heard about the Do Re Mi Music Academy that made you want to come here and attend classes this week? Well, I've been a, uh, familiar with Do Re Mi for quite a few years. I've been connected with Key in uh, some other music efforts and uh, been a supporter of this school. But I have realized down through the years, I'm a choir director at Mount Lebanon Missionary Baptist Church in, uh, near Bowling Green, Kentucky. And I realized that you never get too old to learn. And I'm back here as a student to brush up on some of the skills because it's just like playing baseball, football, or anything else. You have to stay at it and you have to keep practicing. And so I wanted to come back and uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of teaching later on in the year, and I want to brush up on my skills, and I felt like that this was a good place to do it. I'm a day commuter. Okay. Some of them are staying here all night, but I'm, I'm a day commuter from Hendersonville. And, and what would you say you've learned so far this week uh, that maybe that you can take back to your church? 
Uh, one thing that I've learned uh, is a little bit deeper into some of the music variations and some of the uh, uh, phrasing and some of the things that that are so important in making choir music and congregational music alive. Mm -hmm. Uh, in other words, putting a feeling into it that is supposed to come out of the song and uh, some skills as a director that I had had known and kind of let slip behind me and I'm, I've uh, renewed them and brushed up on them. How nice is it, is it also seeing younger people here who have taken an interest in this? It is. It's uh, There's uh, s mostly young people here. There's very few of, of a, adults here this year but uh, it is and it's good to watch them grow up year after year we have several here from our church and some other churches in Kentucky as well as as Keith said all over Tennessee but it's good to watch these children especially the shy ones how they develop and how they become very confident in what they're doing and uh, singing for the Lord. Have you seen a lot of talent here this week? Yes I have and I've thoroughly enjoyed it we had some really good sessions there we have some a lot of good talent some depth in the teachers and uh from songwriting to publishing and uh teaching in in previous years it's just there's a lot of depth here why did you decide that you wanted to be a part of this academy this week um because i've been coming for the past two years and i really enjoyed it and it's something that i get blessings out of it big time and and if it wasn't for my best friends at church i wouldn't have been coming and if i would i wish i would have come a whole lot longer ago but yeah and what do you try to learn while you're here i mean do you try to be a, become a better singer learn more about about shape note music you tell me i try to be a better singer and i try to sing and give people blessings as i go and just try to learn more shape note music that i can each year how much talent would you say is here this year? A whole lot. I wish we had a whole lot more people though. It's kind of low this year and I just wish we had a whole lot more and make it a whole lot better. What makes it best for you by coming here? I mean this is your third year. You said you got you received blessings. What kind of blessings do you actually receive? It's just the singing. It just shows me how much God has done for me and I really appreciate all of them being here and especially for Papa Key. He's a big influence in my life and I really appreciate him. Is it also neat seeing a lot of people your age here? Uh, there's older students here, but there's a lot of people here your age. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. And I really like it whenever little kids come, too, that shows that they're interested in it like I wish I would have been when I was that age, too. If you could say one thing that's the best part about this experience, what would you say that one thing is? Having assembly and singing all together. It's really nice and it's really pretty. Students have learned how to become better shape note singers from Do Re Mi instructors over the last 12 years. 12 years of blessings, everyone here says, that will last a lifetime. Reporting in Trousdale County, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.